the Dartmouth Institute has a very simple, simple mission. That is to make the U.S. healthcare system a better place through our research, through our educational programs, and probably what distinguishes us from others is that we really try to make a difference on the ground, whether it's in policy or in clinical practice. I think that Dartmouth has an incredible commitment to education. It's stronger than what you traditionally see at other universities. It carries forth uh, in every program within it, and it carries forth as sort of an ethos for the institution. It's a very small setting and the professors are very engaged with the students and the students have very different individual interests, but I think that the, that the Dartmouth Institute does a good job of addressing each student's individual interests. The students are also allowed to participate in faculty research, research or uh, through their internship experience to do things um, in the community here or through Dartmouth-Hitchcock as well. The class size and who it brings to the table, I think, bringing physicians and people in the field and people working in the field, people studying about the field really allows for an enriching experience. They bring together so many different types of students and you have everything from people coming from healthcare industries, information technology, software experts, to physicians that are um, mid or even early career. The TDI classroom is inc incredibly dynamic. Um, you know, certainly from time to time we will have you know, formal lectures where it's a direct knowledge transfer from, from the faculty, faculty to the student. But much of the knowledge transfer happens between students um, and that happens in small group settings. Um, every class is, is centered around some sort of group-based project. The idea is really to teach really, really good teamwork skills. And I think that really is part of what makes TDI great is this team-based learning environment where we're learning a lot from each other. How do we know what procedures work? How do we know what diseases matter? How do we know what puts people at risk or at increased risk for disease? Those are very, very basic questions. So we want students here to be, a, to be literate, to be quantitatively literate, and to be able to access the medical literature and understand what it's saying and have some healthy skepticism about the literature. Not all research is right. You'll want to think about it. They didn't teach you what to think, they taught you how to think. The fundamentals that you learn there uh, are based in science, in numbers, in looking at the evidence. There's so many resources and papers that have been written by the faculty that are going to be teaching the incoming students, people who have already done it. They're not teaching from a textbook, they're teaching from the things that they've already done. Um, which is very unique. At Dartmouth, you're talking to people who have been dealing with healthcare policy on the national level in Washington, D.C. with the president. You're dealing with people who have changed the way that hospitals operate and the way that insurance is used. We're trying to teach them to think about the broader picture. And so while the, in, the environment here is very intimate, the reach is very broad in terms of what the policy we're hoping to inform and the clinical practice we're hoping to change across the country. Going through the, the public health program at the Dartmouth Institute has really sort of filled in all the gaps um, from medical school, the things that are important about um, health care, taking care of people, working in our complex health care system, the things they don't teach you in medical school that are very important for, you know, realistically starting a practice or working in our health care system. As the light goes on, that it's not only possible to understand things and what's happening in U.S. healthcare, but it's also possible to make a difference. Um, that's just so much fun. I mean, it's why we it's why we all came here. It's not just to fill empty spots on the library shelf. This is about making a difference in our children's future. <laughs>